Saraswati Namastubhyam Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambham Karishyami Siddhir Bhavata Vesana O Lord Saraswati, give me the Siddhi, Buddhi, Stability, Ability, Agility and the Nobility to become a winner in this tough game called as Neat PG Mock Test. With that prayer to Lord Saraswati, let us make the great beginning, Doctor. Ravindar Singh and many more who are all online. Let's make the great beginning, Doctor, of the test two of the 50 Neat PG Grantes. Niche aapko link hai learnograph.com ka. Baha ja ke click karo. PDF download karo test ka. Solve the test paper and 200 questions in the form of 200 mind maps. The entire explanatory answer is being provided, which I am using now to deliver this discussion. Solve karo. Usme harek mind map. I present around at least eight to ten high yield facts. By the time 200 questions you solve, you are automatically solving around 2,000 high yield facts. Nice to see Suhas and many more who are all online. So let's make the great beginning, Doctor. So, Yes. A 68 year old man with the history of hypertension presents to the emergency room with a sudden onset of the right sided weakness with the difficulty in the speech. So you should know uh, very clearly as to how the cerebrovascular accident presents itself. Cerebrovascular accident presents if it is a MCS stroke, ACS stroke, or PCS stroke differently. ACA will present with a contralateral lower limb monoparesis. PCS stroke presents with the, the vomiting, giddiness, etc. MCA with hemiplegia. So, what you are seeing here, doctor, is uh, Capsuloganglionic bleed, where basal ganglia are located here, internal capsule is passing. So this is the example of intracerebral hemorrhage. What is the another classical site for the intracerebral hemorrhage, doctor? It is the cerebellum, which is considered to be the classical site. A 30 year old woman presents to the clinic with the history of recurrent kidney stones. She reports history of mild acidosis responsive to sodium bicarbonate, frontal x-ray. What is the most likely possibility? So you should remember very much that uh, <clears throat> I'm very happy to see seven online classmates with a thumbs up already. Good. Please inform all your friends. So renal tubular acidosis is associated with uh, the renal stones, nephrocalcinosis is what you need to remember. 
so the flank pain blood in the urine stone formation all these are highly suggestive of the renal stones and you know very well that renal stones nephrocalcinosis is associated with renal tubular acidosis a 25 year old man presents with complaints of severe hypopigmented patches on his trunk they are more prominent after the sun exposure he denies any significant itching classical of pityriasis versicola which is caused by melissesia furfur is what you need to remember so everything anything the high yield facts you need to know doctor about melissesia furfur spaghetti meatball appearance of the yeast and hyphae whenever you put on koh topical antifungals like ketoconazole is the one which is used and you find hypopigmented patches and those who live in highly humid areas like coimbatore visakhapatnam etc they are all vulnerable to develop the pityriasis versicola which is different from pityriasis alba which we discussed yesterday for a year old with hiv infection on antiretroviral therapy typically developed these purpuric lesions which are kaposi sarcoma so you need to start highly active antiretroviral therapy to treat it so kaposi is because of human herpes virus serology inflammatory cytokines play a lot of role in the growth and development of kaposi lesions is what you need to remember a 40 year old presents with progressive painful violaceous lesions on her neck and cheeks she also complains of cough shortness of breath and there are plaques which are indurated with nodules classical of sarcoidosis what is this called lupus pernio what is this called it lupus pernio which is the typical skin lesions which you see in the patients who have cutaneous sarcoidosis and sarcoidosis typically lead to non caseating granulomas which is very classical feature of sarcoidosis why this is not silly because there is um no malar rash and photosensitivity that makes the lupus erythromatosis to be less likely why not rosacea rosacea presents with acne rosacea presents with flushing telangiectasia pustules which are not there in this case is what you need to remember a group of college students very nice to see eight online classmates a group of college students presents to the emergency with the history of diarrhea and eating the reheated rice and uh, you are able to see the bacillus cereus cas spores bacillus cereus it has got a very short incubation period even staphylococcus clostridium botulinum e coli are all known to be food born pathogens but fried rice which is reheated is a very very important clue that you need to basically remember now doc a 7 year old child presents to the clinic with sore throat with low grade fever inherent grayish membrane on the tonsils and what you are able to see here doctor the methylene blue stain on the pi medium is highlighting this bacteria there is a rod shaped bacteria with the clubbed ends which is typical of coronibacterium diphtheriae is what you need to remember a pregnant woman presents with fever muscle aches and confusion gram positive bacilli are observed awaits rbcs so what is this doctor fever muscle aches and neurological symptoms in a pregnant woman with a gram positive bacilli of variable length in blood culture is indicative of what listeria monocytogenes 
Typically, pregnant women are vulnerable. Meningitis, septicemia can occur. Is what you need to remember of Listeria. So all the important high yield facts about uh, all these image based questions I'm leaving on the side, doctor. So please take every opportunity to do the revision. My job is basically to bring you to the habit of solving the question paper. There are many coaching centers, apps available where they launch the mock tests. We all subscribe to that, but we don't practice them. But with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, nahi chalega. Rose, every day I will be there behind you. At least 100 questions, I'll sit with you, hold your hand and practice along with you. All right? Once more, tomorrow's need PG, you don't need anything else. This is more than enough. If you practice all the 50 booklets, this is more than enough, doctor. Very nice to see. Uh, many more who are all online. Good. Keep punching the answers, doctor. Very good. Very good. Uh, only when you are proactive, punching the answers along with me after solving the paper, it will be very interesting. A 60-year-old man with diabetes has got emergency with fever, chills, painful, swollen right foot, diabetic peripheral neuropathy is there. There's a deep ulcer with erythema, with purulent discharge, with gram-positive cocaine, rods, typically in page tetrots and clusters. So we are talking about the Staphylococcus aureus is what you need to remember. So the clustering pattern of the cocci is the one which gives the clue that this is Staphylococcus aureus. A 25 year old is admitted to the hospital with the high fever. With the high fever. Rapidly spreading rash. Two days prior, he had a minor cut in the leg. Several small pus filled lesions are there. And on incubation, on the blood agar plate, you can see clear zones of hemolysis. But observe. So it is Staphylococcus aureus. So you should remember, doctor. The presence of yellow gray colonies and clear zones of hemolysis on the blood agar plate after 24 hours of incubation is characteristic of Staphylococcus aureus is what you need to remember. The organism has an ability to cause beta hemolysis, which is a very important clue, where there is a clear zone of hemolysis. So you should know very well, based on the hemolysis type, alpha, beta, gamma hemolysis, the various organisms have been classified. A 10-year-old child presents with sore throat, fever, swollen lymph nodes, the throat appears red with white patches. A throat culture was performed, gram stain showed, gram positive cocci is what you are seeing. So typically this is an example of streptococcus pyogenes. So the chains which are being formed where you are able to see here is a very important clue to say it is streptococcus pyogenes is what you need to remember. A 65 year old man presents with two day history of high fever, productive cough, rusty sputum. He smokes a pack of cigarettes every day. There's an increased tactile tremitus in his right lower lobe. So it is a lobar pneumonia, which is typically caused by streptococcus pneumonia is what you need to remember. Streptococcus pneumonia. Now, doctor, a 70 year old man with a history of hypertension with diabetes complaining of palpitations with mild, mild dyspnea. Pulse is irregular. What do you see? Sawtooth pattern. So it is an example of atrial flutter. Sawtooth pattern is what you need to remember. So tomorrow's need PG, there are going to be four to five ECGs, doctor. Achha revision karna. Please don't forget to do revision. 
So once you follow the 50 grantors, in the next two months, I'm going to launch already test one and test two are available for you to download on learnograph.com. I leave the uh, website address where you can be able to download by paying 500 bucks for each test. So in the next 50 grand test, my Apo Vaga Deta Home. 10,000 questions we will, you will get opportunity to practice. From this 100% strike rate of all the 200 questions is going to happen in the tomorrow's NEET PG 2024. Practice, practice and practice work. Sort of like appearance. Uh, wonderful Shivam Sharma. Very happy to know and truly humbled sir i have followed your videos today i have completed my md thank you so much for this many times it feels very proud moment when uh, when the students come forward to acknowledge so a good teacher never needs an acknowledgement. Your uh, achievement itself is an acknowledgement, doctor. After all, you are the beginning. You are the inspiration for a teacher to become a teacher, right? So when I was preparing for entrance exam, I was the one who started the concept of coaching while I myself was preparing for entrance. Thankfully, because of wonderful students, I had an opportunity to crack the top rank at the same time, help our students to get the top rank. So always when you want to win entrance exam, doctor, what is needed? What is most important and needed is uh, a good companion. Who can share your uncertainties? Who can be with you? Chalo bhai, ek chai piyenge, tension nakko, hum milke baitke padhenge, bolne wala ek saathi chahi. You don't need apps, you don't need coaching gurus, you don't need coaching centers, nothing is needed. What is needed? A good friend, a couple of friends who are similarly serious like you. Need not be very brilliant, need not be very meritorious, need not be very big toppers, need not be gold medalists. Ordinary, ordinary arm army classmates who will say, who will dream along with you. Wo din aega, mera number aega, jab mera number aega. Proudly I will go to the counseling with, the, with being in top thousand ranks. So today, 3 lakh medical students globally, I had opportunity to inspire in the past 23 years. Some of them are the top neurologists, cardiologists, nephrologists, cardiologic surgeons. I'm practicing today with my own students as a consultant in emergency medicine. So they were all sitting like you one day thinking, oh man, I could not do this, this revision. I'm reading and forgetting blah, 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 and all. No problem. Every day, I will be your classmate, roommate, table mate, bench mate, to be with you, to hold your hand. Kahi bhi coaching lo, magar, mock test, murli, baradmash ke saath, roz, test lena, discuss karna. Which points where you are going wrong, identify karna. Pir jana, zindagi ke sabse badi cheez nahi, girne mein nahi, magar gir kar har dabha utne mein hai. The greatness in life is not about not falling at all. It is to fall every time and raise, fall every time and raise. That is what you need to remember after. So, what you are having is atrial flat. A 42-year-old woman presents to the emergency with tingling in her hands and around her mouth along with muscle cramps, ECG is being performed. 
So carpopedal spasm, what do you see in this? The QT interval. Typically, the prolongation of the QT interval is a very important uh, key feature that you are able to see here. The prolongation of the QT interval, right? Between the Q and the, and the T, the prolongation of the QT interval to more than 420 milliseconds, we call it as, is a very important clue, which is the hallmark of hypocalcemia. Because of the hypocalcemia, she is having all that carpopedal spasm, tingling, etc. History of thyroidectomy at that point of time, probably the surgeon knocked out. The surgeon knocked out even the parathyroid glands, probably responsible for her muscle cramps and perivoral tingling, is what you need to remember. A 24 year old with palpitations, giddiness, she has no history of heart disease. Heart rate is 165, ECG is obtained. What do you want to do? So basically, what you are seeing here, a short PR interval, a short PR interval, you are able to see delta wave, delta wave, and a wide QRS complex, which is more than 100 milliseconds. The combination is called WPW syndrome, is what you are able to see here. So they need to be sent for an electrophysiological study in order to track what type of WPW it is. And accordingly, you need to ablate the accessory pathway, is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, a two-year-old is brought to the emergency with intermittent abdominal pain and passing current red jelly stools into susception. So what you are seeing here, you are able to see into susception. And commonly in the pediatric patients between six months to three years, it can lead to bubble obstruction. And what it is called donut, donut sign or target sign is what you see in into susception. A 70 year old with abdominal pain, with distension, he has a history of chronic constipation, which is classically what you are seeing here, coffee bean appearance, which is the feature of sigmoid volvulus. 18 year old with fever, weight loss, hyperpigmentation, history of pulmonary TB. She has a hyponatremia with hyperkalemia. Hyponatremia, you know, the moment the adrenal gland is affected with TB, what will it lead to, doctor? It lead to adrenal hypoadrenalism. Hypoadrenalism. Once adrenal is not working, you don't have steroid. What is the purpose of steroid? Steroid has also a more. Uh, Mineralocorticoid action. That's the reason it leads to retention of sodium and loss of potassium. That is a normal function of steroid. So, if tuberculosis led to hypoadrenalism, you don't have glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoid activity is very low. That's the reason there is no sodium retention, loss of sodium is there. There is no potassium loss, retention of potassium is there. That is the reason there is a development of hyponatremia with hyperkalemia. And also that hyperpigmentation is a feature of the hypoadrenalism. So what you are seeing here is tuberculosis is the most common cause for the adrenal hypofunction. Adrenal hypofunction in India. Whereas Edison is the most common cause in the West where there's an autoimmune destruction. 48 year old with a history of TB presence with flank pain. IVU is being performed. What is this called as doctor? Gulf ball on the T appearance. Gulf ball on T appearance, which is the feature of renal papillary necrosis. So typically, Diabetes, 
analgesic nephropathy, sickle cell anemia, they all can lead to development of papillary necrosis. One more cause is TB. Any of the, these are the four causes, diabetes, analgesic nephropathy, sickle cell anemia and PB can lead to the development of papillary necrosis. Then the renal papillae will look like a golf ball on a T, not tree. T is what you need to remember. A 30 year old presents to the clinic with recurrent UTI, intermittent flank pain, urolithiasis, IVU is being performed. So what you are able to see here, here there is a complete stricturing of the infundibulum leading to failed contrast is what you are able to see here now, failed contrast. So this is called moth-eaten appearance. So it is an infundible stricture with a phantom calyx with bilateral hydronephrosis, urethral stricture, and uh, moth-eaten appearance, all because of the urinary tract obstruction is what you need to remember. A six-month-old infant is being brought with the failure to thrive, mild cyanosis and short, soft systolic permit. X-ray chest has been done. So what you are able to see here, doctor? We are able to see, we are able to see figure of eight appearance, otherwise called snowman appearance, which is seen in total anomalous pulmonary venous circulation. Normally pulmonary vein drains into left atrium, right? So the pulmonary vein, instead of draining into left atrium, what, what does it do? It drains into, it typically, the left and right pulmonary veins combine and drain into the right atrium. That's called anomalous pulmonary venous circulation. Because of the circuitous pathway, it typically lead to a figure of light appearance is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, that completes our image based questions. So, uh, 27 minutes laga, 20 questions katam karne ke liye. Let's run fast. 64 year old, 7 months of abdominal discomfort, fatigue and 7 kgs weight loss with pelos, splenomegaly, anemia, pronounced leukocytosis, thrombocytosis, BCR, ABL, fusion gene means we are talking about what doctor? We are in the business of chronic myeloid leukemia. That's the reason we use the tyrosine kinase inhibitor as the treatment is what you need to remember. So tyrosine kinase inhibitor. So where do we use monoclonal anti-GFR, EGFR antibody doctor for the colorectal cancers? Without KRAS mutation, head and neck cancers, we use anti-GFR antibody. Topo isovarase 2 inhibitor is for the testicular cancer, small cell lung cancer. It lead to alopecia and myelotoxicity. Monoclonal anti-CD20 antibody is used for rheumatoid arthritis, Hodgkin's lymphoma, CLL, ITP, that is rituximab. Anti-HER2 antibody, trastuzumab, trastuzumab is used for HER2 new positive breast cancer and also gastric cancer. Ribonucleotide reductase inhibitor like hydroxyurea is typically for the myeloproliferative disorders like CML, polycythemia, VEDA. So you should know all these various anti-cancer drugs, their mechanism of action very clearly, doctor. If you have a question wrong, today only you need to go back and do the revision. 23 year old with three day history of mild persistent bleeding from the tooth extraction site. So what do you see here? APTT normal, only PT prolonged. That means it is extrinsic pathway. Factor seven is part of extrinsic pathway, which is reflected by PT. 2510 
come under common pathway. Then both PT and PTT become prolonged. Whereas factor 8, factor 9, all this come under intrinsic pathway, which is APTT. So many times we discussed in our regular class, doctor. So take every opportunity to do once more revision. Nine-year-old boy, right-sided shoulder pain, history of painful swelling. Hemoglobin 7, ready count 9%. Then uh, leukocyte count is 12,000. So what is your answer, doctor? You need to know the different abnormal types of cells. Ring-shaped inclusions are seen in malaria. Teardrop cells are seen in myelofibrosis. Whenever the extramedullary hematopoiesis in the spleen is happening. Hovel jolie bodies are seen Typically, whenever there is autosplenectomy in sickle cell patient. Schistocytes are a feature of microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Spherocytes are a feature of hereditary spherocytosis. So today only you should take a chance. Nuclear remnants in erythrocytes means Havel jolly bodies. So typically whenever the child who has sickle cell anemia, had autosplenectomy that lead to development of the Hovel Jolie bodies. 13 year old girl, severe nasal bleed, history of frequent nose bleeds, physical examination show brisk bleeding from the right nostril, lab show hemoglobin of 8, fibrin split products are negative, prolonged bleeding time. Always remember doctor, a boy has bleeding diathesis. Boy. Oh boy. Whenever a boy has a bleeding diathesis, think about hemophilia. When a girl has a bleeding diathesis, then you think about possibility of von Willebrand disease. Because hemophilia is excited. It is seen exclusively in boys. Whereas von Willebrand is autosomal recessive. Also, the patient is having the bleeding time prolonged. So, one Willebrand factor is required for uh, the, the platelet function. So, what are the options for us here, which are being given to you, doctor, among the options? One is prothrombin complex concentrate. Where do you give it? Whenever there is any warfarin toxicity, vitamin K deficiency is responsible for the bleeding diathesis, we give prothrombin complex concentrate. Where do we give vitamin K? Vitamin K deficiency. Rituximab, whenever there is any ITP, idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura, leading to bleeding diathesis. Where do you use desmopressin? It stimulates the one milligram factor release. Uremic platelet dysfunction, hemophilia A, in all that we use desmopressin. IV immunoglobulin, we use for autoimmune disorders, including ITP, is what you need to remember. A patient is undergoing binblastin based chemotherapy expressing side effect. Binblastin lead to myelosuppression, bone marrow suppression. Bone marrow suppression lead to development of Leuc leukopenia, leukopenia lead to invasive fungal infection is what you need to remember. 36 year old women with progressive breathlessness, loudest one, loudest one, loudest two, two by six yearly systolic murmur is being found. Cardiac catheterization show mixed venous oxygen saturation. So, you should remember that pulmonary hypertension lead to loud P2. Decreased hemoglobin concentration lead to decreased oxygen delivery with tachycardia and dyspnea. Increased peripheral shunting will lead to, is caused by AV fistulas. Decreased LV ejection fraction is caused by aortic stenosis where there will be late systolic murmur, mid to late systolic murmur. So, doctor, 
you should know that uh, grade two by six systolic murmur is because of significant amount of anemia is what you need to remember. Anemia can lead to development of functional murmurs. Right? Now, seven-year-old boy presents with sudden onset of abdominal pain. Recent UTI treated with nitrofurantoin. Reti count is 3.1%. Haptoglobin is 16. LDH is elevated. So, nitrofurantoin is one of the drugs that is known to lead to the development of hemolysis in those who are having G6PD deficiency is what you need to remember. A 48-year-old woman, sudden right flank pain, hematuria, two weeks, history of lower extremity swelling. She is also having nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is a procoagulant condition because in nephrotic syndrome, along with many proteins lost into the urine, there is a loss of antithrombin 3. If the antithrombin 3 is not there, there is a more tendency to clot. Hence, nephrotic syndrome patients develop the DVT and the thrombus complications. 47-year-old with easy bruising, fatigue, pelor, fever, hematoma of the left leg, enlarged liver, spleen, WBC is 12,300, platelet count is decreased, fibrinogen is 120, translocation from 15 to 17. What is that, doctor? Acute promyelocytic leukemia, 15-17. What do we use? Etra, all trans retinoic acid is the one which is being used. So rituximab is used for IPPs, CLL, all trans retinoid for acute promyelocytic leukemia with T1517. Imagine if misylate is used as a first line therapy for CML wave. It's a different uh, translocation. Cyclophosphamide is used for myelosuppression CLL is what you need to remember. So leukemia, lymphoma, leukemia, lymphoma, leukemia, lymphoma. Without that, there is no question paper. Need PG is not for 200, no sir, only for 197. Because three MCQs come inevitably from leukemia lymphoma is the business of need PG. Now, 75 year old with fatigue, receiving ibuprofen, docusate, lumbar tenderness is there, urine dipstick is negative for blood and protein. So typically severe lumbar tenderness, fetal edema, creatinine elevated, hemoglobin is low, anemia is there, hypercalcemia is there, is classical of multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma presents with anemia, bone pains, light lesions in the calvarium, renal failure, infections. Hypercalcemia, these are all the features of multiple myeloma is what you need to remember. 34-year-old presents with fatigue, weakness during skiing, history of pneumonia, diagnosed on eaten agar. So, what is the underlying cause, doctor? So, you should always remember mycoplasma. And you will remember eaten agar. It can lead to cold agglutinin disease. Erythrocytes coated with autoantibodies is what you will typically come across. So need PG may on average around 30 image based questions niklega. Us may say histopathology slides say panch pakudo. Radiology a panch. ECG say teen chart. Right? Every time you go to need PG, expect 30 image based questions. Out of the remaining 170, around 120 questions, 
or clinical minute based. So these are easy, image based are easy. Whole problem is with single liners, very difficult to guess. So Aram say, next to 50 full scale grantees, if you happen to follow me, download lucknowgraph.com is there, no doctor. So there you go, you have a PDF. Tomorrow is test three. So test three ka PDF we will upload tomorrow morning. Download the PDF by paying 500 bucks. Download on a laptop, it will be about 300 pages. Uh, high resolution image with all mind maps and all that. So solve the 200 questions, come to the discussion in the evening. Discussion is absolutely free. So identify out of the 200, how much is your score and where are you going wrong, go back and then once more prepare. Like that 50 full scale grant tests in the next 60 days may अगर मुरली बरद्वाज के साथ आप तैरना प्रैक्टिस करें तो नंबर वन खिलाड़ी बनोगे ओलंपिक स्विमिंग कंपटीशन कॉल नीट पीजी 2024 में यू विल बी द टॉप इट्स ऑल स्टैमिना डॉक्टर इट्स ऑल अबाउट स्टैमिना 21 ईयर ओल्ड विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्यूट लिम्फोब्लास्टिक लिपिडी रेगुलर मंथ्स से संटिल वन ईयर एक Normal female genitalia, elevated FSH, premature ovarian failure, what is the cause? For the ALL, when allogenic bone marrow transplant is being done, doctor, all those myelosuppressive drugs that we give, right? And the CNS prophylaxis in ALL that can lead to development of ovarian failure. So, allogenic bone marrow transplant and the immunosuppressives can be responsible radiation therapy also 50 33 year old women with left leg pain and swelling for one day with two miscarriages palpable cord in the popliteal fossa pt is 12 apt 51 prolonged apt so what is the triad abortions Presence of prolonged apatity, right? And uh, thrombotic episodes like DVTs. This combination is called APLA, APLA syndrome, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. So, anti beta 2 glycoprotein antibodies among the antiphospholipid antibodies will be there. A 72 year old woman presents with fatigue, night sweat, chills, and 7 kgs weight loss. She was treated for a hematological malignancy with CD 15 plus and CD 30 plus positive cells. <laughs> Means what? Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, a peripheral blood smear reveals myeloblast with R rods. What is the probability? So the initial treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma indicated by CD15 plus CD30 plus along with the present myeloblasts and or rods suggests radiation induced myeloid leukemia. Myeloid leukemia which is radiation induced. So radiotherapy, alkylating agents, Down syndrome, everything is a predisposing factor for Myeloid leukemia. How do you diagnose myeloid leukemia, doctor? Whenever the number of myeloblasts are more than 20% in a bone marrow aspiration, how do you identify myeloblasts? Myeloblasts are identified because of the presence of the R rods. R rods is what you need to remember. It's very easy, doctor. As you keep practicing, no, next to 50 grantors may, you will be singing like a parrot. When you go to the NEET PG exam, you will be thinking, Are, ye question was din Murli Bharatva sir ke saath humne revision kiya. Are, ye question bhi humne revision kiya. Sare questions revision kiya. That is called 100% strike rate. Understand? So what you need to do? The last three months before NIT PG, 
you need to solve 50 grand tests plus discussions, attend the discussions with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. That is the way you will get the seat. Now, histopathology of the cervical lymph node in this 48-year-old woman with three-month history of low-grade fever, unintentional weight loss, night sweats. 1418 translocation, what is the mutation? How does the mutation affect the protein? So, first of all, you should know, it is a follicular lymphoma with overexpression of the BCL2 gene because of the gain of the function mutation. And this mutation will inhibit the apoptosis, leading to accumulation of the neoplastic B lymphocytes. BCL2 proteins normally prevent apoptosis by inhibiting the mitochondrial cytochrome C release. A key step in the apoptotic cascade is what you need to remember. So everything you should know the mechanism, doctor. Inhibition of the programmed cell death is the mechanism in follicular cast lymphoma. Hydrolysis of GTP is a mechanism in KRAS mutation that affects cell proliferation in colorectal and lung cancers. Upregulation of cytokine receptor binding is the mechanism in CKIT mutation found in gastrointestinal stromal tumors. Transfer of phosphate from ATP to the cellular protein, that is phosphorylation with tyrosine kinase mutations, is a feature of chronic myeloid leukemia. Inhibition of the DNA break repair is a mechanism in BRCA mutations, which increase the risk of breast, ovarian and pancreatic cancer. Phosphorylation of the serine and trionine is the mechanism in BRAF mutations that lead to various cancers. Vaidna Bhajan Karna, there is no other way. My Pachas Hazar say, Wo app kharid liya, Chalis Hazar pay karke, ye package kharid liya, wo plan kharid liya bole to. Kaun padega? मेरे बाप पढ़ेगा क्या? नहीं हमेश पढ़ना है पढ़ने के लिए इंस्पिरेशन होना इंस्पिरेशन के लिए चैलेंज होना चैलेंज के लिए मॉक्टेस होना मॉक्टेस के लिए मुरली होना सो सिट विद डॉक्टर मुरली बरनवाज आई विल लीड यू टू द पाथ ऑफ सक्सेस अर्जुना जस्ट यू नीड टू डू द कर्मा नाउ व्हिच मेथड इज यूज्ड फॉर Epidemiological assessment of lymphatic filariasis in mass blood surveys. So thick film technique is used for the epidemiological assessment. So everything about filariasis you should know doctor. Look at area bankruptcy. Mosquito is the intermediate host. Culex Anophilus Aedis is the Bancroftian, Mansonia Anophilus is for the Brugian. Most common method is thick film. Most sensitive method is membrane filter concentration. We do DEC provocation test by giving the Hetrazon tablet, 100 mg orally, and blood examined after one hour for the filarial. We can also do zero diagnosis. Machar ko pakad ke unke pet ke andar microfilaria ko pakad ke hum diagnose karenge filariasis ko. And how do you treat? Dithyl carbamazine, very famous brand called Hetrazon. 1 to 4 mg per kg of salt for 6 to 9 months. National Filaria Control Program is since 1955. National Vector Bone Control. Vector bone disease control program since 2003 to 4. And what are all covered under NBBDCP? Chikungunya, dengue, kala, azar, lymphatic, filariasis, Japanese encephalitis, and malaria is what you need to remember. Which vector is responsible for the transmission of Japanese encephalitis? 
Culex tight in your wrinkles is the one. Then I leave all this literature. Hey, SPM ka questions ka bhi kya discuss karenge doctor? Wo to aap pad sakte. You require mainly medicine questions to be discussed by Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Right? One and a half hour mein sabka petrol nikal jayega. Uske pehle hi khatam karna. Floating tip of the iceberg means what doctor? I'll try to run very fast. Please, uh, um, Punch, is it okay if I run fast? On some questions which don't need too much of logical reasoning, we'll try to run, 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 and spend more time in logically oriented questions. Right, Doctor? Now, floating tip of the iceberg phenomena, the portion of the disease that is visible and clinically apparent is the floating tip. Submerged is the one which you cannot see. Now, which statistical tool used to compare the sensitivity specificity of two or more diagnostic tests? We call it as ROC, Receiver Operating Characteristic Curve. Thank you, Kuldeep, for saying, okay, sir. Good. So, guys, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and also tell all your friends, share this YouTube link to all your friends across. And please visit learnograph.com, download the PDF and uh, solve the paper. Hmm? Now, receiver operating characteristic curve is a statistical tool to compare sensory specificity. It provides a graphical representation of the test true positive rate against its false positive rate, which helps in evaluating the inherent validity of a diagnostic test is what you need to Remember, similia, similibus, curentur means what? Treatment of the disease by small amounts of the drug causing similar symptoms in healthy individuals, which is the underlying principle of homeopathy. Right? Now, which category does India fall under HDI index as on 2019, Dr. Medium development. India's HDI is 0 0.624 and it is a composite index, human development index, longevity, life expectancy at birth, income, that is a real GDP per capita or PPP. Then knowledge or education, adult literacy rate and mean years of schooling, they all come under the calculation of human development index is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, what are the skills criteria that finds disease association are replicable in different settings? It's called consistency of association. Every day you are solving the full scale grant test 200 questions. Every day, Dr. Murali Bharadwaj is teaching at least 100 questions discuss kar rahe. Hum dono milke 50 grand test khatam kiye. That is called consistency of association. That is a key factor according to Hill's criteria. I leave all the remaining literature doctor, in the mind map. Mind map is a very powerful way by which you can summarize mind maps are the best way to summarize all the key concepts of a particular topic at one place. So I provide you uh, very nice to see Anita Rani, our future topper, very good, a gold medalist and uh, aspiring to become MD, general medicine, like her daddy. Of course, I am her godfather, academic daddy. So, very good. See, doctor, just passed out intern getting uh, top rank is like three star for me. But a service doctor getting top rank is like a seven star. So, Anita, you should make me seven star general. Right? That's a promise. So, which level of evidence in a research evidence pyramid 
summarizing scientific evidence from multiple studies. It's called systematic review is what you need to remember. Which communication method involves a subtle formation that promote active participation for long-term comprehension? It's called group discussion. Group discussion. Highest average daily nutrient intake that is not likely to pose any adverse health effects in almost all the individuals is called tolerable upper intake level. Right? So I leave the literature. What is meant by recommended daily relevance? What is meant by adequate intake, etc., etc. Now, doctor, how is the incidence rate typically expressed in epidemiological studies? It is per thousand per year. It is per thousand per year. Incidence means it is reporting new cases. What is the main focus of Janani Suraksha Yojana to promote the institutional deliveries among the below poverty line of women is the main part of the Yojana. I leave all the literature. When was it launched? What is the objective? What are the benefits? What is the eligibility? What is the focus? So mind maps is a very fast way by which you can summarize, Doctor, all the concepts. What is the facility-based IMNCI training's primary focus? It is appropriate inpatient management of the neonatal and childhood illnesses. So facility-based IMNCI equip medical officers and train staff nurses with the necessary skills for inpatient management of serious neonatal and childhood illnesses like asphyxia, sepsis, malnutrition, where at FRUs, that is, first referral units is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, what is the meaning of acculturation? That is, culture exchange between different societies. Like, Sonia Gandhi ji, Italy se aakar, Bharat ki bahu bane, aur Bharat ki वासियों के जैसे साड़ी पहना भारतीयों के जैसे बात करना फिर भी इटालियों के जैसे सोचना राइट सो इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द टू कल्चरल एक्सचेंज बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट सोसाइटीज इज अ कल्चरेशन व्हिच एन ऑफलेस मस्किटो इज नोन एज अ वेक्टर ऑफ अर्बन मलेरिया वेयर डू गेट स्टीफेंस कॉलेज स्टीफेंस कॉलेज इज इन दिल्ली सो दिल्ली इज अर्बन अर्बन मलेरिया इज Stefancy is what you need to remember. Most cases in India, malaria occurred July to November. Anti-malaria month is June. Female anophilus is definitive host. Human is intermediate host. Either ka udar, udar ka either mat banao. Kaun definite? Matla sexual matla reproduction ka hota hai, maha definitive. ससुराल क्या है माय के क्या है मालूम हो रहा है बाइट ऑफ इन्फेक्टेड एंड ऑफ लेस व्हाट इट सेंड यू इनटू योर बॉडी स्पोरोजॉइड्स रूरल इज कुलसिफेसिस अर्बन मलेरिया इज टिफेंसी एंथ्रोफिलिक मलेरिया इज फ्लुविएटिस व्हिच इज एफिशिएंट ब्रैकिश वाटर में सुंडाइकस सो यू हैव टू मग ऑल दीस थिंग्स डॉक्टर there is no way, don't tell, I want to be a cardiologist. Oh my God, why do I need it? I don't need it, mama. No, you need it, mama, to crack the competition. Right, doctor? Now, which rabies vaccine is recommended by WHO because of its safety and potency? Cell culture vaccine is a one. Which vaccine has been implemented in all states of India as of September 2019 for prevention of gastroenteritis in infants? Rota, rota virus is responsible for all the infantile diarrhea. Now, doctor, a patient presents with stable angina. Why do you give him sublingual nitroglycerin? Because nitroglycerin being vasodilated increases the coronary perfusion pressure and systemic vasodilatation is what you need to basically remember. Keep punching your answers, please. Keep punching your comments, doctor. 
so that I know that I don't feel sleepy. I feel that you are giving me company, right? Now, yes. HIV patient presents with PAO2 of 54, diagnosed with pneumocystis, pneumonia. What is the next step? In management, doctor concomitantly gives steroids. Giving steroids in pneumonia. Oh my God. Steroids in pneumonia. Oh my God. Giving steroids in pneumonia is a very challenging decision. I mean, HIV patient may pneumocystis pneumonia hai to already immunocompromised, but what is the indication for steroid? If it is pneumocystis pneumonia, you have to give concomitant steroids. So what is the indication for cardiosteroid? PAO2 less than 70 or a significant alveolar arterial gradient. So pneumocystis is treated with trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, double strength, and the corticosteroids for severe cases. How do you diagnose? Bronchoalveolar lavage is the way you diagnose. So any PMO2 less than 70 or alveolar arterial gradient more than 35 in a case of pneumocystis pneumonia is an indication for starting the steroids is what you need to remember. Just give me two minute voice break, doctor. Two minute voice break. Please join back. Stay online, okay? Stay online. We'll join and at least hundred questions khatam karke jayenge. Okay? Just give me two minutes.
So welcome back, doctor. Good. A patient with BMI of 35 kg with hypertension, erectile dysfunction, elevated hematocrit. What is the likely diagnosis in him? So typically obstructive sleep apnea. The moment obesity is there is a serious risk factor for obstructive sleep apnea. Erectile dysfunction, hypertension are sequelae of the obstructive sleep apnea. Because the obstructive sleep apnea, there is a constant hypoxia leading to elevated hematocrit levels because hypoxia stimulates erythropoietin that lead to erythrocytosis is what you need to remember. So how do you treat them? We have to give continuous positive airway pressure. CPAP therapy is the core principle of management. A patient has exertional dyspnea, pounding heart sensation, widened pulse pressure, decrescendo diastolic murmur, water hammer pulse. What else is needed? It is a classical study of chronic aortic regurgitation. Right up. Then, a patient with fair skin with a history of dysplastic nevi presents with new enlarging asymmetric lesion, irregular borders, color variability. They are the A, B, C, Ds of malignant melanoma. Asymmetry, B for border irregularity, C for color variability, D for diameter more than 6 mm or the melanoma signs is what you need to Remember, a child presents with port wine stain in the distribution of trigeminal nerve and is being found to have glaucoma. MRI of the brain shows intracranial vascular malformation. Tram track calcification. What is that called, Dr. Stooge Weber syndrome is what you need to remember. So it is the mutation in GNAQ, GNAQ, GNAQ gene. Port wine stain, seizures, glaucoma, intellectual disability, leptomelangeal capillary venous malformation with seizures. Intraocular pressure is elevated with glaucoma. Consider laser therapy for port wine stain. Is what you need to remember. A patient presents with severe chest pain, uterine retention, lower extremity paralysis, loss of crude touch pain sensation. What are we talking here? Crude touch and pain, both of them talk about dorsal column, spirothalamic tract, bladder retention, lower extremity paralysis. That is all the sign of thoracic spinal cord ischemia. Severe chest pain is there, which is a sign of aortic dissection. Lower extremity paralysis and urine retention suggest the moment aortic dissection is there, there's a decreased blood flow to the spinal cord and that lead to spinal cord ischemia. So you know very well, how do we classify Stanford's classification of the aortic dissection? Only ascending aorta involved or only descending or both of them accordingly. So type B aortic dissections involving descending aorta often involve the spinal cord is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, a patient presents with non fatigable vertigo, new onset headache. What is the important step? So, always, whenever vertigo is there, it is of two types. One is called central vertigo, other is called peripheral vertigo. If it is a peripheral vertigo, like benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, Vertigo is affected by the changes in the position of the head. Whereas central vertigo, non-fatigable, non-fatigable vertigo is central vertigo. It is accompanied by headache, neurological deficits, not suppressed by fixation, not suppressed by fixation is what you need to remember. 
Now, an elderly patient presents with acute onset of confusion, fluctuating mental status, disturbed sleep-wake cycle. What is the very important part of the management? Treat the underlying infection and maintain normal sleep-wake cycle. So you should remember delirium. So what is the meaning of delirium? There is an altered sleep fake cycle and typically any advanced stage, any infection, any medications, metabolic disturbances, urinias, hyponatremias, anything can lead to development of delirium. Delirium is different from dementia. Dementia is forgetting. Delirium is running in confusion. Acute onset of confusion, sleep wake disturbances characterize the delirium. A patient presents with memory loss, Parkinsonism, visual hallucinations. What is your diagnosis, doctor? It is called Parkinson plus syndrome, which is dementia with Lewy bodies. So they have sensitivity to antipsychotics. Parkinsonism with fluctuating cognition with visual hallucination defines the dementia with Lewy bodies. What is the close differential diagnosis for dementia with Lewy bodies? Vascular dementia, frontotemporal dementia, autonomic dysfunction, they are all the differential diagnosis is fortunate to live back. Now, doctor. What is the best treatment for FAKR with intact capsular bank? So, typically, FAKR, there is no lens. Typically, it happens post surgical after intracapsular cataract surgery or posture lens dislocation, traumatic absorption of the lens, congenital absence, anything. So when a refugia is there, antechamber is very deep, there is a jet black pupil, iridodinosis, two Purkinje images. So how do you treat? So basically you look whether capsular bag is there or no. If, if capsular bag is there, then you will put posture chamber intraocular lens. Otherwise you will put sclera fixed Scleral fixated IOL is the one which you will put, is what you need to remember. So be very sure on how do you clinically manage the intraocular lens and aphakia. 65 year old male with history of cataract surgery has a deep anterior chamber. What is the optimal management for his condition? implant a postural chamber intraocular lens. So whenever FAK is there after cataract surgery, capsular bag is still intact because you keep the capsular bag intact and remove the lens whenever you are doing cataract surgery. In such cases, the best thing is to basically put postural chamber intraocular lens for the correction of the vision is what you need to remember. So today only doctor, please go to Learnograph.com. Right? So there you are having ophthalmology, microbiology, biochemistry, all these ebooks which are mind maps, each contain 150 mind maps with 1500 high yields which will give you a rapid revision. I'm going to launch all the 19 subjects, mind map ebook shortly, right? Now, a patient with history of blunt ocular trauma presents with asymmetrical intraocular pressure readings between two eyes. Ganioscopy reveals the irregular widening of the ciliary body. This is indicative of which type of glaucoma? is a very important question. Right, doctor? Which type of 
glaucoma. So it is an angle decision glaucoma. So basically here patient has a history of ocular trauma, irregular widening of the ciliary body. All is indicative of what? Angle recession glaucoma. Commonly because the blunt trauma to the eye leading to the damage in the angle structure and uh, increasing the intraocular pressure because of the impairment of the drainage of the aqueous humor due to the angles damage is called the angle recession glaucoma. 65 year old patient with fluctuating vision which is noted to have whitish material on the pupillary margin, moth eaten appearance of the lens on slit lamp, classically is having pseudo exfoliation glaucoma. There's an accumulation of fibrillar material that can lead to secondary open angle glaucoma, which presents with a higher risk during cataract surgery due to jonular weakness. Now, doctor. A 30 year old with port wine stain covering the left face, Biftagmos. Which type of glaucoma you see? Sturgebeber associated glaucoma. Community Health Initiative is addressing visual impairment in rural area. Which category of the blindness should be the primary focus of their preventive strategy? Preventable blindness. It is a vision loss that can be avoided by prevent to prophylactic measures by targeting the conditions like cataract, glaucoma, which are the significant contributors to the preventable blindness is what you need to remember. What is the radiological feature in Moya Moya? Moya Moya. So Moya Moya disease may, if you do cerebral angiography, it looks like a puff of smoke is rising the moment you pass the contrast. It's called puff of smoke appearance in Moya Moya. Which ultrasound finding is diagnostic of ectopic pregnancy, doctor? Typically, it is the presence of the live embryo outside the uterus. If you find it on the ultrasound, that is indicated. So, are you all awake? Please punch. Are you awake or sleepy? Please punch. Doctor, if you are all awake, you will have to go forward and try to finish some more questions. If you are tired, done for the day, it's okay. We are still at the second full scale grand test discussion. Yes, please punch. Shall we hit 100 or shall we say good night? Let me know. What condition is associated with the chain of leg appearance where there's a stricturing, dilatation, stricturing, dilatation? It is typically in the case of the chronic pancreatitis. Totally awake, sir. Yes, we will continue, is what you are saying. Good. 100 kit karenge. Chalok, tik hai. Agar aap tayar hai, to hum bhi tayar hai. So, bullseye lesions. Melanoma is most common cause. Bullseye lesion in the liver, hepatic candidiasis. Bullseye lesion in the gut, lymphoma. Bright liver on ultrasound, fatty degeneration of liver. Arc of Riolon is an astomotic artery between middle and left colic artery. Arc of Bueller, embryological anastomosis between celiac and superbicentric artery. Accordion sign is seen in pseudomembranous colitis is what you need to remember. So, doctor, I want you to inform all your friends. Always, uh, we don't do, I never do any personalized marketing. But you tell all your friends. Coaching kahi bhi lo. Mother 50 full scale grantors. As ebooks. On the learnograph.com. Learnograph.com. 
uh, to you tell to all your uh, friends to download and also attend the discussion for them to become the topics. Our students are our best brand ambassadors. Eye of the tiger sign on T2 weighted MRI. If you go to the Google, you will find all these images. Eye of the tiger appearing. It is called pantothenate kinase associated neurodegeneration. Pican is the place. Very good. Of course, Anita is always ambitious. I love that quality. But Suhas, everybody agree with 100? Yeah. Now, doctor, which radiation interaction is characterized by release of the inner shell electrons as the primary method of developing the contrast in the diagnostic radiographs? It is called photoelectric effect. It occurs at low energies in diagnostic radiology where a photon is completely absorbed, leading to ejection of the inner shell electron. This plays a pivotal role in developing the contrast between soft tissues and the bone in the radiographs is what you need to remember. Now, it is a typical site for the development of odontogenic cyst. It is the maxilla. Maxilla, where you find actual crackling is a classical feature radiologically. 47 year old male teacher who is a smoker, no history of smoking. His voice became rough. So please add thumbs up, please add few comments in the bottom of this video. Also share this video in all your uh, personal Instagram pages. Please uh, kindly post it so that we get opportunity to get more and more number of audience to know about the happening of this 50 full scale grant is every day until the mid PG. 47 year old male teacher, his voice is rough, low pitch, it becomes noticeable when speaking for long periods. Laryngoscopy shows ventricular folds and approximate the during the phonation, laryngoscopy. But there are no lesions. So what is this called as? Dysphonia plica ventricularis, where the false vocal cords are compensating for the true vocal cords. Occupation like a teacher where 100 MCQs are loudly done a revision, obviously. That's the reason teachers, physicians need to preserve their voice now. A three-week-old infant presents with high-pitched, squeaking voice noted during inspiration when crying. But the noise diminishes when the infant is placed in a prone position. One of the routine, old cushion. Whenever the laryngeal cartilages are immature, you call laryngovalacia. Where there is excessive flaccidity of the supraglottic structures leading to inspiratory collapse that improves with the prone position, prone position. So when prone, the stridor diminishes and a normal cry are classic for laryngomalacia. 45 year old with chronic pelvic pain, heavy menstrual bleeding reveals boggy, symmetrical enlarged uterus. Her symptoms worsen during menstruation. What is your diagnosis, doctor? Adenomyosis. Middle-aged woman, heavy menstrual bleeding, boggy tender uterus, progressive chronic pelvic pain. What else do you need to make up, doctor? And worsens with menstruation, which is a very, very important clue. So don't forget, doctor, to spread the word of message. Each of you have a lot of friends on Instagram pages of you. So please post on your Instagram about, please speak to your friends by posting the link of this YouTube and uh, uh, that will create a viral cascading effect to bring awareness to everybody.
Now, a 22-year-old female presents with low and abdominal pain that begins one to two days before menses, results in two to three days of onset. Pain is accompanied by vomiting. Her BMI is 19. What is your diagnosis? It's a primary dysmenorrhea. So how do we treat? It is a high amount of prostaglandins responsible. That's the reason we give NSAIDs as a treatment is what you need to remember. A pregnant patient with irregular vaginal bleeding with a cervical mass, she has not had routine pap smear. What is the next best step? Perform a cervical biopsy. So patient presentation of cervical cancer with irregular vaginal bleeding and a cervical mass. And the fact that she didn't have her routine cervical cancer screening. Cervical biopsy, can we do that in pregnancy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can do that in spite of being pregnant. It's what you need to remember. A patient requests a cesarean with no maternal fetal indications. What do you want to do? Ask them to go and refer to another obstetric provider. So you try to counsel the patient by saying what are the advantages of the vaginal birth. A postmenopausal woman with pelvic pressure, constipation, and uterine mass. She has a history of tamoxifen use. What is the most likely possibility? Uterine sarcoma. Uterine sarcoma, endometrial stromal sarcoma. They're all seen in postmenopausal women with symptoms of pelvic pressure, uterine mass. And tamoxifen, which is serum, selective estrogen receptor modulator, is associated with increased risk of uterine sarcoma because it is estrogen agonist effect on the uterus is what you need to remember. 59-year-old postmenopausal women with dysuria, urgency, recurrent urinary tract infection, no leakage on coughing. What is the possibility? So dysuria, urgency, recurrent UTIs, without stress incontinence, that means it is called the genitourinary syndrome of menopause because of the urine. Estrogen deficiency. A neonate with duodenal atresia. What will he have? Duodenal atresia can be associated with Down syndrome or Bacterial. So whenever it is associated with Down syndrome, Down syndrome may BSD rahega, BSD ke vajay se. That's the reason duodenal atresia and BSD are often associated with each other. So what is Bacterial Association, Dr. Don't forget this is one of the favorite questions of the examiner. But the anomaly is anal atresia, cardiac defects, tracheal fistula, esophageal atresia, renal anomalies, and limb defects. This combination is called bacteria. So what are the various trisomies that you know, doctor? Rocker bottom feet in Edward syndrome, midline defects in Patov syndrome, horseshoe kidneys in Turner syndrome. Please don't forget, doctor, I have given all these, uh, all these masala points in the form of mind maps. Today only go to learnograph.com, download each ebook of a test, cost you around 500 bucks. But you will get around 1000 high yield facts, 200 ditto ditto questions for the tomorrow's need PG, original questions, and you get that practice. Attend free discussion on YouTube. Enjoy your preparation next to 50 graders. 14 year old girl, primary amenorrhea, cyclical abdominal pain, blue bulging membrane at the vaginal introitus that bulges with the increased intra abdominal pressure. Classical of imperforate hymen is what you need to remember. A patient with uncontrolled diabetes type 2 with elevated circulating fatty acids. What might have happened? In uncontrolled diabetes, there is an insulin deficiency that causes decreased stimulation of acetyl-CoA carboxylase. What is insulin? Insulin is a 
लाइपोजेनिक हार्मोन लाइपोजेनिक हार्मोन सो इंसुलिन डिफिशियंसी में देर इज अ मोर लाइपोलाइसिस and that is the reason there is an increase in circulating fatty acids during a clinical examination physician tells a student that tympanic cavity contains a structure that can remain open into adult head and may be the path for infection in pediatric ears where is that the boundary between the petrous and squamous parts of the temporal bone so if you look at the ear doctor roof has thin tegment tympani from middle cranial fossa floor fas tensialis bone separates from jugular lateral wall tympanic membrane and bony attic under wall carotid wall with canal for tensor tympani stretch in tube and carotid canal so petrous squamous line remains open into adulthood is yes, what you need to remember a physician is describing the function of the muscle surrounding the eustachian tube which muscle is responsible for opening the eustachian tube is innervated by the branch of the mandibular division of the fifth cranial nerve duct tensor palatii opens the eustachian tube supplied by the medial fibers of the mandibular nerve In a case study of the ear anatomy, a radiologist points to an area susceptible to spread of infection because of its closeness to the bony labyrinth, sigmoid sinus, and dura mater. What is this called? Trotman's triangle. Trotman's triangle. So ENT and all are very easy, doctor. They are all single liners. You don't need me actually for the discussion. You can solve it. at least 100 questions if i hold your hand and lead you remaining 100 you should solve right that's a deal 45 year old female with pulsatile tinnitus hearing loss reddish blue mass biopsy make clusters of chief cells that's called gel belen on histology pulsatile tinnitus it is indicative of glomus tympanicum is what you need to remember glomus tympanicum a newborn is noted to have cyanosis that worsens when feeding but improve on crying difficulty to pass nasogastric tube what is the possibility bilateral coanal atresia if it is there it is difficult to pass the feeding tube feeding tube 30 year old with clear nasal discharge following a motor vehicle accident severe headache recent loss of smell cribriform plate fracture what will it lead to traumatic csf leak 25 year old with difficulty in breathing recurrent headaches in the anterior ethmoidal region when pressure is applied on the patient's cheek which widens the nasal valve there's a relief of the obstruction what is the most appropriate initial treatment septoplasty and what is the test relief of obstruction with the nasal valve is widened it's called cottle's test which is indicative of nasal valve narrowing is what you need to remember a 14 year old boy acute onset of fever osteomyelitis what are the most important site of the bone where osteomyelitis starts infection starts metaphysis because metaphysis has a lot of blood supply is what you need to remember now what are those joints which have a synovial capsule and the most common type involved in athletic injuries diarthrosis allow for free movement and exhibit maximum mobility and hence are highly vulnerable for injury in the sports injuries now a muscle is being targeted is known for its strength 
rather than the range of motion, it is multi-pennate. What is that? Tibialis area is multi-pennate. It is the one that stabilizes and strengthens the ankle after surgery. During abdominal surgery, surgeon notes a gallbladder with a segmental constriction between the fungus and the body. And what is that called? Pherysian cap. It is a anatomical variation of the gallbladder where there is a constriction between the fungus and the body on the radiological images where you can find it in the cholecystography. And it can be mistaken for pathological things is what you need to remember. So various variations of the gallbladder you should know that. Floating gallbladder, it has a mesentery. So, sile gallbladder lacks a cystic duct. Pharyngeal cap is constriction between fundus and the body. Rokitansky Ashkoff sinuses, they are the mucosal outpouchings of the gallbladder. Crypts of Lushka, they are the indentation of the mucosa into the muscle coat, is what you need to remember. A 30 year old man comes to emergency with acute onset of severe trying pain that radiates to the groin. The pain is colicky. So it is a renal stone. Renal stone passes through ureter. Ureter is retroperitoneal structure which has got peristalsis. 45-year-old woman requires intubation for mechanical ventilation during a surgical procedure. Anesthesiologist selects an endotracheal tube designed to confirm to the egg anatomical curve of the airway. So, which feature of the endotracheal tube will help? Preformed curve of the tube. So, endotracheal tube, if you look at the design, there is a preformed curve. Airway radius approximation is 12 to 16 centimeters. It has a distal tracheal and proximal 15 mm male connected for breathing system. There is a bevel angle of the bevel is 38 degrees. There is a Murphy side, which is a side vent near the distal end to prevent the blockage. It is previously made with red rubber, but now usually made with PVC is what you need to remember. A surgical team is preparing for an operation where there is a need to obtain a secure pathway with the ability to introduce a endotracheal tube. They select a LMA which allows the intubation through the device itself. So that type of LMA is called LMA first track. So different types of laryngeal mask airways. Fundamentally, a laryngeal mask airway is what, doctor? It is a supraglottic device, 12 mm in inner diameter. It is, has a flexible shaft and silicon rubber and uh, typically first track is for intubating LMA. Flexible means softer tubing, not for emergency. Proseal has a gastric suctioning channel. Supreme has a built-in bite block, high volume count. C tranche is fiber optics and video screen for laryngeal view. They are the different ways of laryngeal mask airways. A patient with respiratory distress with Multiple rib fractures on chest X-ray. He is hypoxic, decreased breath sounds bilaterally. X-ray shows no clear pneumothoraces. What is this condition, doctor? So, typically, the patient symptoms of respiratory distress, hypoxia combined with trauma, X-ray findings, not showing any pneumothorax, all suggest ARDS, which can develop out of severe trauma, like the flail chest, where there is a rapid onset of widespread inflammation and a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema is what you need to remember. So after trauma, after 6 to 72 hours is the dangerous time during which the ARDS will develop. Now, doctor. Is everybody awake? Please let me know.
Are you awake, doctor? If you are awake, I'll continue a little more. A child presents to the emergency after swallowing a button battery. Lateral neck X-ray shows a circular object with a halocyne posterior to the trachea. So halocyne on X-ray suggests a button battery lodged in esophagus. Tick 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 tick. Trachea ke piche kya hai? Trachea ke piche. Trachea ke piche hai ye isophagus hai babu. Isophagus ke andar chale gaye hai button battery. Yes, what you need to identify. Now, doctor. 67 year old male with history of type 2 diabetes, with fever, severe right upper quadrant pain, eight fluid levels within the gallbladder means. It is emphysematous polycystitis. You have to be ruthless to treat it. So, doctor, urgent cholecystectomy is required. There is a very high risk for gallbladder rupture and sepsis. Typically, this is a feature of diabetic patients, is what you need to remember. A patient presents with weakness in knee extension, diminished sensation in the anterior thigh and medial side of the leg after undergoing a lengthy hip surgery. What is that nerve doctor? Femoral nerve. Femoral nerve is especially when you place a prolonged hip flexion, dorsal lithotomy, they are at risk of femoral nerve injury. A patient has acute cough pain and swelling after twisting in knee injury during a soccer game. Ultrasound shows well-defined area and tenderness in the medial tibial plateau below the joint line. It is the ruptured popliteal Baker cyst is what you need to remember. Now, a 50-year-old male Very good, Ravinder. Plain chest, three fractures in two chest bones. Right. 50 year old male with recent tra history of trauma and sepsis has undergone aggressive fluid resuscitation. He now presents with distended abdomen, decreased urine output, difficulty with ventilation. Bladder pressure is 30 millimeters of mercury. What is the next step? You need to do surgical decompression of the abdomen because it is a classical clinical scenario of abdominal compartment syndrome where the bladder pressure exceeds 25 millimeters of mercury. 30 year old man with painful erection lasting for six hours without any sexual erosion, a sickle cell disease. So sickle cell disease patients will develop priapism, which is often low flow or ischemic type. So first line management is always corporal aspiration to remove stagnant blood and irrigation of the alpha one adrenergic agonist like phenylephrine to induce that detumescence is what you need to remember. 44 year old women a symptomatic mass in the thyroid, already history of endocrine neoplasms are there. Elevated calcitonin is there. So it is a multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, especially with the past history. So medullary thyroid carcinoma typically secretes calcitonin. Neuroendocrine malignancy that comes from C cells. Red to proto oncogene mutation is found in 25% of cases. Majority thyroid carcinoma can be familial and be part of MEN2 syndrome. It presents with a symptomatic thyroid nodule, diarrhea, flushing from hormone secretion. Do a fine needle aspiration biopsy. Serum calcitonin, calcino embryonic antigen need to be sent. Total thyroidectomy with post operative levothyroxine is considered to be the management. Now, doctor, a 28 year old woman with a history of autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome presents with hypotension, nausea, abdominal pain. She recently had a stressful life event. Her blood tests show hyponatremia, isnophilia, 
So this patient is having adrenal crisis triggered by stress with a chronic adrenal insufficiency, hyperatremia, isnophilia. Normally, they're all inhibited by corticosteroids. So treatment is, because he has a hypoadrenalism, you need to give a volume resuscitation with saline, glucocorticoid replacement and start with IV hydrocarbs. Six-year-old woman underwent breast cancer treatment five years ago, now has multiple purple skin lesions, swollen arm on the same side, biopsy of the lesion. What does it show? So breast cancer, chronic lymphedema, purpuric skin lesions means angiosarcoma. So post-radiation therapy and chronic lymphedema, steward Treef syndrome. You see, angiosarcoma is what you need to remember. So doctor, with this, we come to the end of the today's evening. Thank you so much for joining. Kalbi padenge, parsobi padenge, rose hum sab milke padenge. Don't feel that you are alone in this game. You have Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, past 25 years, 3 lakh medical students. We had an opportunity to inspire them. You will also, aapka number bhi hai, right? Only you need to have confidence, patience, perseverance, very important. So don't forget to share this video link to all your Instagram classmates, friends, and do a campaign to come down to this YouTube channel and attend and take the mock tests. Good night, and we will once more meet tomorrow.